Welcome to CNBC's How Do You Know Your Homeland Trivia Contest with the Once, our guest stars today, the Once playing uh, Andrew, Geraldine, and uh, Phil, who's bitter, but squeeze it. There you go. All right. So now what's going to happen? I'm going to give them skill testing questions about their home province of Newfoundland, and you are going to ring in accordingly if you know the answer. All right. There is a tie breaker if at the end there's some sort of tie. Uh, keeping score, we should say. Shelly, can you come in and keep score? Shelly over there keeping score from the company house. Thanks, Shelly, our, our official for today. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> How well do you know your homeland? Question number one. The Italian explorer Giovanni Cabato, a.k.a. John Cabot, made landfall at which part of this Newfoundland in 1497? Bonavista. You know it. That's ah, right. Now you don't have. Side note: An angel just got his wings. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to wait till the question's over, because oh. they could start to get more and more okay. competitive. All right. All right. And uh, a Bonavista means oh happy sight. Mm. All right. There you have it. All right. Uh, and number two: the Atlantic puffin is the provincial bird. Ninety-five percent of all North American puffins breed around Newfoundland and Labrador. Where in Newfoundland can you find the largest population? I believe that was Andrew again. Saint Mary's Bay. Ooh, no, I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, Phil! Oh, Cape Spear? No, Geraldine! Oh. That was my guess. I don't know. Anything? Anyone? Uh, La Vista. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought Saint, I thought it was Cape St. Mary's. It says here, and I could be wrong, but I will check, uh, Whitless Bay Ecological Reserve. Yeah, it's about 32 kilometers outside of St. John's. Check it out when you're there. All right, here we go. I that I had that in common. Well, and there you have <laughs> Question number three, while you're listening to this great Canadian rock band from Newfoundland who was big in the 70s and 80s, you can also eat this dessert. Figgy Duff. Yes, wow. Andrew, oh again. God. Andrew's taking it in. All right, uh, Figgy Duff, just so you know, contains butter, flour, sugar, and raisins and is boiled in a bag. It also contains Kelly Russell and Pam Morgan. <laughs> We should give him points for that, Shelley, if you're over there. Okay, here we go. If Newfoundland and Labrador was one of the U.S. states, where would it rank in terms of its size? Fourth, 16th, or 23rd? Phil. Fourth. Yes, Phil, you are correct. Texas is bigger. Texas is bigger. Alaska is first, Texas and California. Get this, a total uh, land mass of 405,000 plus square kilometers in in. Newfoundland and Labrador. <laughs> Newfoundland is the 17th largest island in the world. Okay. Hey. That wasn't a question, but again, please wait. Okay, here we go. Uh, number five. Now, I think I know who's going to get this. What community located on the Buren Peninsula is known as the Soccer Canada, capital of Canada? Phil? Marystown. No, Phil. Uh, St. Lawrence. Yes! Oh. <laughs> the St. Lawrence Laurentians have been one of the winningest teams in Canadian soccer. So congratulations, Geraldine. She's on the board, ladies and gentlemen. All right. In which town in Newfoundland did Amelia Earhart make a stop before going across the Atlantic? Harbour Grace. Yes. And you can still see a plane there today, a replica, if you will. Yeah. And so take it in. Eh, Phil? You're nervous over here, eh? <laughs> Are you going to blame it on your sound device? No, I thought you were going to say something about Alcock and Brown, and I was going to answer that. Number seven. What okay. cape was the first to get the Titanic's distress signals? Wait for it. Cape Race, Cape St. George, Cape Spear, or Cape Royal? Cape Race. Yes, Andrew. Nice I will man. tell you that this historic ho yeah. lighthouse uh, has remained in use for decades, and uh, Cape Race received the distress signal because it was the nearest location to the Titanic. Hmm. All right, name the Newfoundland town that Nassau recognizes as the only place in Canada. Stephenville. Yes, to land the space shuttle, Phil. Absolutely. <clears throat> Number nine, we're narrowing in on the close. More than likely named after the fishermen who consumed it in the first place, Give me another name for Newfoundland's famous and tasty boiled dinner. <coughs> Geraldine. Ooh, jigs dinner. Yes, mm. jigs dinner, because the cod jiggers used to have it when they'd come in. Did you know that? No. It's true. That makes sense. Yes, it does. All right, here's our last question from our sports category. I don't know if there's any sports enthusiasts. Yeah, that's why we're a folk trio. <laughs> Born in Carbonier in December of 1978, just 19 years later, he would be chosen in the first round of the NHL draft pick by the Chicago Blackhawks. What? Oh, what year? He was drafted uh, in 97. We know 
Danny Andrew. Cleary. Yes, Danny Cleary. Yeah. I'm going to throw out a bonus question because is there a tie? No, I think Andrew's in the weed. Andrew's the clear winner. Let's just for second I think I said place. Andrew's in the weed. Let, for <laughs> second place, too. let's see if you can get this. No, because are you sports fans? I, well, you don't sports no. Fans. Okay. Here's, I blew the Danny Cleary question. Well, no, so. but he's just very quick on the bell. He may have gotten the better sound sound of what. I actually missed the first one. Did ya? Yeah, before she fell last. You're years. just come just on. This. Anyway, uh, I get scared when. It's, okay, and this last question uh, on what uh, for what team did he play when his name was put on the Stanley Cup? Phil or Geraldine? Detroit. Yes. Oh. Hey. But Geraldine's still the better looking of the three. And I'm just saying that. So you get bonus points for that. I'm I really needed that win, just for the record. I needed it. He'll be boasting about it for, for years. Uh, thank you for playing our inaugural edition of CNBC and Trivia. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Yes. Thanks. It's really fun, man. I got to get more sound devices. I like it.